Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are watching episode 5 of Summertime Rendering today. I was shocked and appalled last episode. Um, Shinpei has, has a shadow and he's at the summer festival with Ushio and all of his friends and it's honestly terrifying. Also at the end of the last episode, we kind of got introduced to the purple haired lady who hopefully will have some answers for us. She seems really helpful. She was able to kill Mio's shadow and so I think she has knowledge that will definitely help Shinpei but guys let's get right into it thank you all so much for watching with me I really really appreciate it and yeah let's watch episode 5 of summertime rendering I think Narazushi is a type of food right why is she just casually bringing this up oh my god it looks horrible so it just like completely disappears. Oh. Unless. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> That's so interesting. She killed a shadow by shooting the shadow? Like the actual shadow on the ground? Oh my god! So she used to live here. She was a kid. Oh, interesting. Ryunosuke? What does she know? Why does she know him? I already like her. Okay. I already like her a lot. I think she's really cool. This is me theorizing what her backstory is going to be. She grew up here when she was a kid. She experienced weird shit with shadows because this shadow stuff was happening when... All the way back when she was a kid. She left maybe because her something happened to her family or she just wanted to escape this island where things were happening. But now she's back because she wants to help people and hurt something heard that something weird was happening <laughs> that's my educated guess on what she's doing back here i wonder if does he like recognize that name her name <gasps> oh okay okay the shadows are gathering. Yeah, how can she tell them apart? Oh. How the heck did she find all this out? Oh my god, that's so she's like she's like a shadow hunter basically mother <gasps> they just take a picture of everyone at the festival the writer Wait, the writer of that one book? Sis? Sis? I hear a fire. Who was it? Oh my god, right in the head? <gasps> what the fuck is that? Um. All the bodies! I feel like that happened so quickly. All the shadows. 
フリーズした脳みそでもそれくらいはできるようだったそしてさあ<笑>ミオミオエンドカンドヤミオテーシテマモトミオエノアイワホンマモヤナオレお前は昔からしんちゃん<笑>しんちゃんって。No, I wanna watch! <gasps> okay, okay. Is that like her last bullet? What? I can't tell if she like was it her seeing the future or was that oh no he's gonna die <gasps> his eyes <laughs> mother mother lost that eye Oh shit. Oh my god, no, they're gonna gouge his eye out. No. I got his voice. Did he seriously break her arm when he held it like that? How, how are you gonna do that? I'm so scared she's gonna she's gonna get killed Disappears? What? This is insane. Oh my god, so yeah, she knew. She knew this was gonna happen. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Is that mother? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is so crazy. But also just like this whole concept is so interesting to me. Oh my god. They're just going poof. Y'all are next. Y'all are gonna turn into dust. See? He knows. I swear to God, he knows stuff too. What? Who is this man? Is he working with the shadows? Why is this giving um, Evangelion? Like, everyone's turning to dust instead of soup. And then you also have this, like, doctor higher-up guy who seems to be working with shadows. Why did it take me so long to believe the message? Mm. Oh my god. This is crazy. What if it doesn't work though? Ah! It is her last shot. Okay. 
quickly, quickly do it. <gasps> what the fuck, girl? <laughs> okay, okay, girl. <gasps> Literally blowing his head off. <gasps> Looking from the bird's eye view. It's mother right there. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder how they're connected. He somehow has her eye that can distort time? Hmm. Oh my god, he just went through so much. Oh my god. Mm. So he starts like... He kind of resets like a little later. Every time. Cancel the festival. Okay, get the get the festival cancelled. <laughs> oh my god, that would be... Horrifying. もう助けられないってことだろう。夏祭りまであと3日。たったの3日で何とかできる問題なのか。止められるのは心配だけ。He <laughs> has to. Oh my god, there she is. Wait, did she wash up on the shore? Her shadow? So it's the same day. What the fuck? That was it. That was so quick. Holy crap. Y'all, these episodes, they just go by so quickly. It's crazy. This show is so interesting to me, okay? Like, I feel like for the past few episodes, I've just been watching and like been in awe of where it's been going. Um, And like, I just love the sci-fi elements. It's been so long since I actually watched a sci-fi show or a movie that has kept me guessing like what was going to happen next um it seems like we're dealing with some sort of like godly entity in a way with that mother and how she's like consuming these shadows i don't know what her end goal is but somehow shinpei is connected to her somehow he got her eye but one interesting thing that i noticed is the purple haired girl said something that made me think that shinpei contacted her previously maybe he forgot i know he has the ability to like traverse time and stuff but there was a line of her saying like i wish i remembered or i wish i did something sooner about the message you sent and i don't know if she was talking about shinpei or if it was from someone else but that just made me think hmm did he did he time travel before all this before he knew what was going on man they've they just done such a good job already at like keeping my attention and wanting to know more with every episode and it's only an ep we're only in episode five y'all but now it seems like we're gonna figure out what was going on with ushio or maybe not exactly what was going on with her but like what she did in these three days when she washed up on shore it's interesting that she didn't like go to her family or anything because this is july 22nd the same day that shinpei gets to the island and so she had three days to try and talk to her family but she didn't She she senses something weird. Oh, she knows that man's a shadow. Okay. So I remember last episode she said that she said that she got a message and that she wished that she would have like answered it sooner. It seems even now, even now she's like still kind of questioning the credibility, right? She's like, oh, that adds more credibility to the message because there's a shadow right here. Oh. 
she i can't oh my god i can't believe she knows him like even from this moment my god she's piecing everything together Man, how long has it been? I know she, she grew up here. 14 years. Whoa. I don't know. Okay. I feel like I recognize his voice. あ、今東京で… <laughs> Oh my god, that's their father. Oh my god, so she like she saw her when she was younger. What? His parents died, I'm pretty sure, right? In a boating accident, okay. And he did send her a message from an unknown, an unknown number. Oh, she's on the しめられて抵抗したような跡があるって。ちょっと待ってあら。警察はバカなのか。被害者の爪には犯人の血や皮膚片が挟まっていた。いや。いや、like Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, she's in there. Was there nothing? <gasps> oh. It's covered in makeup. What are you doing? So this is a doctor who should have done the autopsy, perhaps, or done more investigating? Who are you? Oh. Her friend? An old friend? The water. <gasps> That's a shadow? Oh my god, that's crazy. It's like she doesn't know that she's a shadow, though. It's kind of like Ushio that we know. God, she's so freaky. She knows. She knows that something's up with her. With Izuru. Is she upside down right now? <laughs> I knew this guy was in on it. こういうのはどうだ。小早川しおりが溺れたのは事故ではなく影に襲われた。影はしおりを殺して消し去るが、しおりの影は溺れた通い少女を演じ、古船美代に救助された。
駆けつけた両親を殺害し影と入れ替えたお前泣いてんのか明日は勇気降ら降るなら雨だろだが天気予報では明日は快晴だあなたに頼みたいことがあるオッケーズウシオマイガード前回の葬儀をリピートする記憶だけを頼りに同じ動き同じ会話 It'll be so hard to just have to go through all this again こう二人おお。新平くんあいやはいミュウが小さい頃おばあちゃんから聞いたとかですみません、変なこと言うてしもて。あさこ、行こうか。うん。Oh、my god。そんな。Oh no, oh no, the little girl knows。しんちゃん、大丈夫？ミオ、一つ聞いてもないから。昨日履いてたパンツって、白か。<笑> oh my god。Shinpei, why would you ask? <laughs> 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 Whoa, okay, so they're looking for Ushio. Ushio Shadow. Renaksaki Nagmo Senseno. Gorilla Suma Shimpe, Joto Tuile. Kono Ango Nagmo Senseno, Hio Jacuni de Tegre. Tokena Yango Tamamu Shuto. Interesting. What is he doing? I, is this the shadow or is this the real one? Um, Mosmos, Nagmo Sensei, this car. Daria, my Nagmo Sensei, and I, Azro Simpeto, he must. Was your Nezia Nezu Ginjiro? Ginjiro Nagmo Sensei to a Jotosta Shiria dena. Do you at the shita? My Honobango Nagmo Sensei, Arani, what a star and go there. Toitanka. あれをほなそこ抜けて葬儀会場まで降りてこい一人でや<笑>また連絡すらあのもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもし <gasps> so I think I think he's trying to kill his shadow. Kakashi Mitaini, so Konijito Tateo, Sugo Arasaki. Jikan Basho. Also, Nara Aranga Story in Naritokida. Seventeen different patterns, girl. <gasps> oh, my God, she actually did get him. Okay, okay, okay. So that was the real one who actually walked in. Okay. Okay. That's what I want to know too. I have so many questions too. あの暗号の鍵になる単語は二つ。作者ナグモリュノスケとその本名や。だがヒズルは私以外の誰にも自分がナグモリュノスケやと明かして。Wait. この携帯に電話をかけられるのはヒズルをコピーした影しかありえへん
I'm so confused. They they talked about Ryunosuke and her death at the beginning of the episode, right? <笑>あの、ありがとうございます。オッケー、ダッツキュート。今から述べることが病気になれば正してくれたまえ。私の正体は私から名乗る以外に知るすべはないわ。私はまだ名乗っていない。君は今日。7月22日を体験するのが初めてではない。何度も繰り返しているのではなかろうか。Yes, right. <laughs> finally he can say something about it to someone. Oh my god. I need to watch the next one right now. Okay. I really like this girly, Hizuru. I'm still confused because she says she's hiding her real identity. She says she's actually like Rinosuke. I think that's how you say her name. But then in the beginning of the episode, they were saying how the same thing that happened to Ushio happened to Rinosuke like 14 years ago. And I thought she died. But obviously, she's alive here. What's up with that? <laughs> I'm confused. There were lots of moments in this episode where I was just like, Am I watching the same timeline or are they in different timelines right now? Like Shinpei and Hizuru. Right now at the end of the episode, they're obviously in the same timeline. I'm glad that Shinpei can finally like talk to someone about the fact that he's time traveling. And I like this duo that seems to be forming. Or even like this trio with Nezu. I feel like this is gonna be kind of difficult for Shinpei though because if he does have to die, if he does have to die again and like go back in time, that means that he's gonna maybe have to convince Hizuru to trust him again. And he's gonna have to repeat everything and try to talk to her again. And I don't know, I feel like it's just so much work, not only physically, but also emotionally for him. It's truly wild to see how many shadows actually do exist, though, still actually exist, even from just July 22nd. And it seems like these shadows are trying to find Ushio. I can't tell if the shadows that Hizuru met knew that they were shadows or if they were like Ushio and thought that they were actually their real human self. I don't know what makes the shadows good or bad. I put that in quotations because like, I still don't know if these good shadows who think, that, who think that they're humans are actually good or if they're actually just like joking around. It seems like Ushio does know what's happening. Ushio Shadow, I mean. And then these two parents that Hazir talked at the funeral, the Kopayakawas, it seemed like they didn't really know what was happening unless they're just really good actors. Everything is just so interesting and I need to go watch the next episode, okay? But thank you all so much for watching this one with me and I'll see you next one for episode 7, okay? Bye!